Media Studies is all about learning about the media and its impact on society. We cover the knowledge of the media industry and how it works in the course, but then we also look at different forms of media and we analyse how producers create media texts and for which audiences to. When looking at media language, this area of media is all about analysing a text. Um, so it's quite similar to English in some ways, but rather than analysing poetry or a novel, we would be analysing perhaps a film or analysing an advert, analysing a magazine front cover. We also look at representation. This is all about looking at stereotypes and how stereotypes are either reinforced in the media or sometimes challenged and subverted. We also look at the sort of business side um, of media too. So media, I always say, links to English in this analytical way. So when we do media language and representation, that's the link to English and analysing. Um, but it also links to business in some ways, if you're interested in business studies too, um, because we look at the industry behind the media, who owns which media and how does that impact how they're funded, how does that impact how they run and how they produce texts and target audiences. We also explore how audiences are targeted by media texts. So we spend quite a lot of time looking at audience demographics and thinking about how some of our set texts, for example, the Lego movie, targets particular audiences. Who do they want to consume their product and how do they make sure that those people want to watch the Lego movie and buy into it? The last sort of pillar of the course is being able to talk about media within its context. Some key parts of the course look at texts from the 1960s. So it's really important for us to teach you a little bit about the history of that time and how society operated in that time so we can understand why the media was the way it was. In media studies, you're assessed in a few different ways. Ultimately, you will have two exam papers at the end of year 11. Each of your GCSE papers in media are worth 35% each. So 70% of your calls will be assessed from your examinations. They will get sent off to an examiner and will do lots and lots of revision in order to prepare you for those papers. The remaining 30% of the course, you'll actually already have an idea of your grade for that as we move through year 11 because that's assessed under coursework. Usually in media studies, we get a brief from the exam board and it will be your job to create some media of your own. You get to be a media producer um, and design maybe like a magazine front cover or a movie trailer. Um, and we follow the brief and we get to be really, really creative in this part of the course. And it's a really nice way for you to secure a part of your grade before you go into those exams. If you are creative, if you like the opportunity to write an article, to design a magazine front cover, to design a trailer, to film and photograph, um, you will really enjoy the coursework part of this course. Two, if you've got an analytical mind, if you're able to watch something or observe something or read something and think, mm, why have producers made these choices? Who are they targeting? And why have they presented people in this way? Three, if you've got an interest in society and the way that society works, media is a really, really important course for you. We often talk about different social groups, men, women, gender, race, and have big discussions about how people operate in the world we live in and how people observe and consume the media, which is all around us all the time. So if you are interested in anything like that, um, you will be perfect for this course.